Hey guys, how you doing? So this is for my um, beauty and hair fans. <laughs> if I have any. <laughs> I know I did some videos a while back uh, where I was talking about uh, hair color and how I highlighted my own hair. And so, okay, you've noticed that the highlights were gone a while ago, I guess in winter. And uh, basically, I've been doing my own hair since... I've been watching YouTube, I started just cutting my own hair because I learned how to cut hair on YouTube. I mean, I went to beauty school, but I never cut my own hair <laughs> for some reason. Anyway, so I did my own bangs, and they're really simple to do. You just basically, I'll just go here and see, see you um, part from here to here, and you cut across. I mean, really simple, and then you, um, on the side, you can leave this part longer to frame your face. And then the rest of my hair, I pull it over the top of my head and um, cut it across. And that's basically it. I don't, it's pretty simple. And then I have a couple layers on the side. And I just hold it straight up in the air and I snip it and it falls. So, you know, it's so simple, you guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do your hair. Um, and then the color I've been using is the L'Oreal Mousse. The new hair color called L'Oreal Mousse. It's really great. It comes out of the container as a mousse. Instead of, you know, a liquid or a thick gel, it's a mousse. And you just put the mousse on whatever uh, touch-up you want. And then after a while you comb it. You put it on the rest of your hair and see it's really shiny, it leaves it really shiny. They have a really good conditioner that comes with it. So um totally worth it. The L'Oreal mousse, I would highly recommend it. And if you can get a coupon, I would get a coupon because it's it's not that cheap, but it's not it's cheaper than going to a stylist. So um yeah, the L'Oreal mousse. And there's also some other companies that make mousse now, but that's the one I've been using. And beware if you go, <laughs> if you get a dark color, it's really dark. See how dark my hair turned out? But I like it. It's it's different. I'm surprised I haven't broke out and went blonde yet, but I just seem to enjoy being a brunette. So, uh, so that's it on my hair. If I can find those videos that I learned how to cut my hair with, I'll put them on the underneath bar, but I'll, it may take me a couple, a bit to do, <laughs> but I'll try to find them for you. Really simple, once you learn how to cut your own hair. Wow, saving tons of money. Well, I'm not really saving, I'm just spending it on something else, you know. I think that's really what's up. <laughs> okay, to go, like, to go get my own highlights it would cost me a hundred bucks, and I really don't have... I don't want to pay somebody a hundred bucks unless she's fabulous. I'm gonna look like you know a freaking movie star. Now. I'm not gonna do it. You know what's the point? So, um, and then I bought these earrings from a YouTuber. I think her name is Renee. Uh, she also has her own hair company, and if I can find her link, I'll also put it underneath. But I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm not sure if she's still doing sales online or not. But I got these earrings from her for $4, including tax and shipping. Really a good deal. I bought a few from her that day. Um, and if I said your name wrong, and it's not Renee, I think it was Renee. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's so much going on, I don't even know how to comment. I've been commenting on all of it. It's... There's just so much every day. Like, I think today was calm, but every day there's something new. Some scandal, some disaster, so... <sighs> I haven't been commenting. <clears throat> you know. So, uh... What is the latest? The signature on Mr. and Mrs. Obama's signature and the date saying May 2008 underneath it. Well, I looked at his signature and it's really, you know, big O, big O. <laughs> um, 
and the signature and the date printed below is not it doesn't match his handwriting you know his signature and the printed date and it doesn't make any sense and it's possibly not him who put it there i mean there's a chance he did not write you know may 2008 on it okay because it's printed and then his wife's signature next to his is very pretty and it, it doesn't match the printed date either so i'm thinking possibly someone else put that there you know what i mean um that's just my theory though because that just made everybody think he's loony and etc. <laughs> it went on from there. <laughs> Worried isn't the word everybody is when they saw 2008 under underneath his signature. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't write it. And somebody just wanted me to look bad. Benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Um, because I'm sure they're just like everyone has haters and trolls. You think he doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? What other disaster besides Fukushima? And, well, there's more meltdowns and more radiation coming, and nobody's really saying anything like officially like you know beware cover up but I know we're, I'm not drinking the milk and uh, the water I'm trying not to drink the water <laughs> I have to take a bath so I don't know what to do about that but uh, yeah so uh, interesting developments yeah Okay, um, what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, common elenin, which is not common elenin, but it's possibly uh, the planet Nibiru or another dwarf dark planet that's being blacked out on um, Google Sky. It seems to be black. There's a section where it's just like a black. They don't want you to see it, and people think that it's that uh, thing that's coming toward Earth. And um, if it does come, if it is a planet, or even if it's a comet, and it's a very large comet, but most people think it's a planet because it's moving so slow. Um, it's well, the Earth is already re it's supposed to wreak more ha havoc, so. I mean, the volcanoes are going, the earthquakes are going, so I guess it'll intensify, and some people believe it will cause the, you know, big shift, but, um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna have faith that it, we're not gonna, no, it's not gonna, we're not gonna, twi no, it's not gonna happen. I mean, we already have earthquakes and floods, okay. And we've already shifted a bit. All right, but I don't think we're gonna. The world will turn in a circle. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to say no. And you know, yeah, the, the rapture didn't come, and the world didn't come. Thank the Lord. But you know, and uh, all the theories on that. Are so numerous. Have you ever seen that movie? It's uh, it's called Sky, and I think it's called Sky. Let me check. I think I have it. One sec. Sky or something. No. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry. No, I don't have it. So, well, anyway, I saw it. It's, oh shoot! I thought I, I thought I had it. Oh, maybe it's Sky or Alien or something. And 
I forget what it was called. And so it took so anyway, the reason I'm bringing it up is because they get invaded and it's like in LA and they get invaded by aliens and it's like the aliens come and bomb buildings. They're just like you know those big beams come down and just blow things up and um and at some point after the attack then the people are raptured up <laughs> into spaceships and then these aliens eat their brain and then take over their bodies and they become like aliens so um and um then but there is this one young couple that gets sucked up and she's pregnant and so even though he they both get sucked up into this ship together even though that happens he protects her even when they make him into one of them he protects her from them consuming her because she's pregnant and that's I just ruined the movie for you <laughs> but whatever I mean are you sure you want to be raptured <laughs> we don't know what that really means if that's what it means, no, nah, I'm cool. But, uh, yeah. What does it really mean? You know what I mean? We're, we're hoping it's the angelic thing of love and light and beauty. You know, but other people are saying, showing us other things, <laughs> other versions. <laughs> Ooh, we don't want those versions. Um, yeah, and then we have, what is it, all those stargates opening, the Gulf of Aden, and the time machine in the Antarctic. Did you see that one? Wow. Which could be basically an alien remnant, but Vaughn Helton seems to think it could be the Nazis left it there a long time ago. I mean, we don't know what's going on, you know, no telling. And then the, in Iraq, but there were stargates in Iraq also. That's pretty interesting. Um, a lot of stuff going on. So there's more than one reason why. It's not just oil. It's, there's a lot of different reasons <laughs> for all of these created wars and genocides and stuff that are happening at this time. Well, no way for us to know what they all are. Then there's the people who say, oh, well, I don't want to say it all. It's just too depressing and too crazy, and I don't want to give it any more power. Which is my point. We shouldn't give it any more power, and we should just really continue on our path and making our life happy and joyful <laughs> instead of letting us be even infected with all of this bad news. It's good to be prepared, but it's good to be, like, overwhelmed with just, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's not good, so, you know, you gotta stay balanced and just stay balanced and focus on what you want and making your life beautiful and happy, especially right now with all the tragedies going on so and that you know and all that energy will it affects your body you know and as a woman females we're really sensitive so you know all that crazy weird news it may be fascinating but it's not good for us or our bodies you know it gives us makes us feel threatened as I zip up here <laughs> threatened <laughs> even though we're not scared and we're strong but it, you know some cellular level it, it can affect you so you know you need to stay positive and uh, you have to make yourself happy and stay balanced and spiritual and joyful it's really important you know because you don't want to make yourself sick and that goes for the guys too gotta be balanced even if you're at war <laughs> with the world you gotta stay spiritually balanced because that's what gives you strength in fighting your war <laughs>